What's up guys and welcome back. Uh, we are watching the sunrise on a beautiful a new day here in Subnautica and uh, we've got a lot to do today. I actually think we're going to be heading back to the Aurora. So uh, anyway, before we get to that, I want to show you guys our new base. You guys know I told you that I was going to kind of organize my base and remake it and add some windows and stuff like that off camera. Well, uh, this is what I ended up coming up with. So you guys know our base used to come all the way over here in the shallows to right underneath our life pod. It just didn't make sense. We had way too much room. So uh, I kind of expanded it down into the depths a little bit more here. And uh, this is what we're working with. So we've got an entrance from this side in case we come from this way. We've got an entrance over here if we want to immediately get to our crops as well as this is going to be our main entrance right here. So this is our main room. You guys can see we have all of our storage and neatly aligned on the walls. We've got titanium, uh, food, water, and health items, gold, silver, diamond, and ruby, lead and salt, copper and lithium, miscellaneous stuff, quartz, plants, and then more miscellaneous stuff. So that's all of our, our storage there. Everything's nicely numbered and labeled and everything else. You guys can see we actually have quite a quite a bit of stuff here so we're, we're looking pretty good in that department we've got our modification station here we've got a new fabricator on the wall we've got our battery charger on the wall over here as you guys saw we've got uh, our little plants here and we're we're gonna get ready to head out so I think uh, let's eat some of these and then we're gonna pull the rest of these up we're gonna plant one and save save the rest for a minute um, this little section I just had come out here because I wanted to be able to put reinforcements down to make sure everything stayed together over here we've got a nice little glass entry walkway type thing into our moon pool which you guys can see we have four windows in the moon pool which I think is pretty cool so yeah that's our new base a lot more you know organized a lot more room. I feel like it turned out pretty well, and uh, obviously we're going to keep building on to this thing as we go. Now, the reason why I want to go to the Aurora, do I really want to go back? Probably not really. Last time we kind of saw a Reaper Leviathan from a distance, so I'm a little bit nervous about that. But um, anyway, aboard, we have uh, in our voice logs, in our data bank, under our codes and clues that we found on the Aurora two episodes ago, you guys could see under the note to self, we have the cargo bay code, 1454. We also have the cabin number one code at 1869. So uh, I think we're gonna go back and just find out what's in those rooms. We'll see what else happens. Uh, I guess we could also, we should check our radio. I think we had a new message, right? Let's see what's going on with the radio. This is Altera HQ. This may be your only communications window. We can't send a rescue ship all the way out there, so Aurora, just gonna have to meet us halfway. They're not gonna come save us? Blueprints to the ship's We're computer. Sandwich run, you in? Uh, yeah, give me a second. Black box data shows the high security terminal in the captain's quarters is still functional. Becky's but... leaving like in five minutes. All right, well, tell Becky I'll just take the, the regular. The regular? Yeah, she'll know what I mean. The code should and be... she doesn't? Just tell her the regular, dude. Okay, the if I say regular, and she's like, what's the regular? I can come Bro, what's the code? The code should be 2679. The regular's just a ham and cheese. Okay, would you just say ham and cheese? Ham and cheese. Okay. All right, so it looks like we've got a new code too. Holy cow, that guy almost didn't get the, the captain's quarters code off because his friend was trying to order him a ham and cheese sandwich. But anyway, yeah, we're gonna be going back so we can get into cabin number one. We can get into one of the other things. I don't even remember what that one was. What was it? We're looking for the cargo bay. We're looking for cabin number one. And then we've also got the Captain Quarters code as well. And I think Captain Quarters and Cabin Number 1 are right next to each other. So that's kind of cool. You guys, take a look. We actually don't have the radiation suit on anymore. Hopefully we're going to be okay. We were supposedly fixed the generators on the thing. So hopefully it's all right. We've got a little bit of food, a little bit of water, a little bit of help, fire extinguishers. We actually honestly could probably grab another another thing of help just to be safe. Welcome aboard, Captain. Um, we picked up most everything on the ship last time we were there, so I, I don't know. We'll we'll see what happens, but uh, we're gonna gonna make our way out of here. We're gonna head to the ship. Hopefully, we can find that entrance again, and uh, we're gonna find out what's in these rooms, dude. Eventually, we're gonna have to check out. Oh, look, there's like a data box here and stuff. Actually, I think we might have hit that. But eventually, we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to check all this stuff out on the way to 
the Aurora because there's a lot of stuff out here that we haven't haven't explored. Looks like there's a lot of little um, salvage pieces and I don't know, dude. I just I feel like there's gonna be some rare stuff out here. Like we have this box. Let's see what's in this box. Go! Get out of here, bro. I'm gonna lead you away from the box. Ah, uh, he's he's hungry. He's just looking for food. All right, I'm gonna lead you away from the box. And I'm gonna try to grab it myself. Just a water bottle. All that for a water bottle, bro? All right. Well, that wasn't worth it. But yeah, some of this stuff has to has to actually be worthwhile, right? We've got a glowy thing over here. What is that? Got some quartz. I don't know that quartz is worth getting out for. Some more salvage. Salvage. More boxes down here. Should we check this out? There's like a little cake back there. That's kind of intimidating. Propulsion cannon. We've already got that bad boy. Battery. I feel like we find batteries and stuff all the way... Or all over the place out here. Got some salt on the wall. And here we are. Back at the Aurora, fellas. But you didn't expect us to come back so quickly. I didn't really expect to either. It's not like I wanted to, but... It's gotta be done, man. Alright, so I remember when we found that entrance last time... There were like electric... Electric shocks... There's like a ramp that you could walk up to, but there were like electric shocks that were shocking the water. So we've got to go find that. Ah, here it is. Here it is. We found it. So you have to go through like a little hole in the roof. Where is it? Is it over here? It's over here. We're close. We're real close. Where is it? Is it over here? Where's that ramp that we came up? Oh, we're, we're like on top of it. So those, those are the, there's the pole we found. This is it. We made it. Alright. Holla freaking Luya. Here we go, boys. Alright. Got my propulsion can in case we need it, but I don't think... I mean, like, most of the stuff should be taken care of, right? It shouldn't have changed all that much. So we have, uh, again, if we go to our thing here... We've got the captain's quarters, we've got the cargo bay, and we've got cabin number one. Cabin number one and the captain quarters are right next to each other, so really we just kind of have to find the cargo bay, and we should be good. So we go up here. You guys remember where, where we went everywhere? I think we went down. Man, I'm... Not all that happy to be back. This place just makes me claustrophobic, man. Alright. So is this considered the cargo bay? Locker room is to the right. Where would we put in a code to go to the cargo bay? Is the question. There we go. We're gonna speed through this, baby, because we've been here before. Drive room, Seamoth Bay. Um, low key, we were just here and I'm already confused. Alright, this this looks like some sort of a cargo bay, dude. Maybe? Oh, we already had that open, alright. We're gonna have to find out where the cargo bay is. I, I mean, there's a lot of cargo boxes all over the place. I don't know what what the cargo bay is supposed to, where it's supposed to be at. Oh, you know what? I think we were going the wrong way. I think this is the code for, for cargo bay three. I think, so what was it? Hold on. Uh, one, four, five, four. Unlocked, yeah. All right, so we, I guess we did it backwards. So we already had that door unlocked. So we don't need to worry about cargo bay three. All we need is the captain's quarters and the 
bedroom number one, both of which should be back here if we go to the living quarters. So we kind of went, went the wrong way before, I think. All right, so we're gonna come through here. Prawn Bay, how do you get to the living quarters? That was, uh, living quarters was up top of the prawn bay, right? I'm pretty sure. So we're gonna come over here. We almost got stuck here before, so I'm a little worried, but I'm hoping for the best. No, we got it. All right, living quarters were up here. Supply, canteen. Went back here. Cabin number one. All right, so for cabin number one, one eight six nine. One eight six nine. Open sesame. Got a water bottle in here, a first aid kit. Let's make sure there's wall shelves. We can scan that, yes sir. Got that. Arcade gorge toy? That's weird. No signal. We've got a PDA here. Let's make sure we're not missing anything on the PDA. Responsible autonomous relationships. So I, th I think this one has to do with the, uh, the, the breakup thing that we listened to before. All right, so we've got that. Let's go back to codes and clues. Um, 2679. So we've got to get into the captain's quarters with 2679, which I think that's over here. 2679. Got it? No captain in here? I, I would have figured the, the captain went down with the ship. We've got a captain's log here. Exploring a quiet alien backwater when the ship arrives here implodes. Hmm. Is he playing a game? I think he's playing a game there. All right. Make sure there's nothing we can scan. Basic double bed. And then we also, of course, have to, have to grab the... They said they were uploading blueprints, I think, in that radio message. I'm not sure. Blueprint acquired. Aurora miniature, our inventory's full. We're gonna go ahead and eat all those, looks good to me. Vital signs. Drink a couple of waters. Download this this data terminal. New PDA data. Alright, we've got new PDA data. Should we check out what that is? Neptune escape rocket. Wait, what? This blueprint was set was developed at Altera headquarters specifically to get you out 4546B and back to the nearest phase gate. Takes into account local gravity, astronomical data, and available resources, and is piloted by AI. It may be adapted to employ whatever power source is available, but it will require a lot of it. it consists of five independently constructible elements, a launch platform, so a floating platform provides a solid base from which to launch the rocket, gantry provides structural support, stage one primary thrusters for reaching atmosphere escape velocity, stage two is the fuel reserve, and stage three is our cockpit. Features one person life support, short range communications, adaptable power supply, orbital shielding, onboard time capsule. Onboard AI will not launch if local threats are detected. Use of alien materials to power the craft may increase its range in unpredictable ways. So we need to, the local threats sounds like we need to shut down that, that weapon that's protecting the island, or the, the planet, and then we, we're going to be able to launch a rocket to the phase gate where they're going to meet us halfway and they're going to rescue us. So this is a rocket for what? We've got to figure out how to make a launch pad platform, a gantry, a stage one, two, and three, and then we're going to be able to fire off a rocket. Are you serious right now, dude? Let me self-scan, see if anything's, anything's happened. Nope. Don't have anything new. All right. So now we've got to figure out how to launch a rocket. This is insane, dude. Like, I, I, we're, we're making a rocket. Like, we landed on this crazy alien planet. It's all been based on the sea and everything else, but we're gonna be making a rocket, bro. Whoa, hello. Well, aren't you angry, little young one? We're making a rocket, bro. This is gonna be so nuts. All right, so we're gonna head back. We're gonna see, uh... See what we can find along the way. Got a lot of glowy boys down here. It's nice being able to search through this area without, um... Whoa, okay. 
Okay, calm down there, sir. Some of these guys, the sand sharks, they come in different colors. It's weird. But it's it's kind of cool to, to be able to search this area with no radiation, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, so like I wanna I wanna grab that ruby dude. I'm grabbing it. Got some angry boys up in here, dude. Let's see what else we can find. What is this thing, bro? That does not look fun. I, I wish we could scan it from a distance. I don't think we can. I kind of want to scan him just to see what he is. He looks like he's got the juices that could power a rocket, though. You know what I mean? Like, he looks he looks like he's the real deal. Dude, we have a lot of these sand sharks around here. Should we, should we try to scan him? Bro! Bro! Bro, alright, I'm not gonna scan you, don't worry. Okay. Get me out of here. Where is he? He's right below us! <laughs> oh, dude! Okay, they aren't as fast as I thought they were gonna be. But they do not like us, that's for sure. See what we got going on down here? Is this slate or shale or whatever it is? Yeah, that stuff's good. All right, so we're gonna see what we can can grab from this. You can only get this stuff pretty, pretty deep, and it's not the not the most common thing to find either. We found some on the the caves of that mountain, the floating the floating mountain thing, but I haven't seen any since. All right, this is where this is where Coop comes in handy. I picked up some weird like um, containers on the ship. Oops, shoot! Definitely gonna gonna take those back. I picked up some containers on the ship. Diamond, things like that. Um, some like glasses, like scientific glasses, like beakers and stuff. So we're, we're gonna keep those for sure. Up and down there. It's a good little trip so far, exploring new uncharted territories. This is like a mush, oh shoot. I see you bro. Leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. We might actually, I think we found some Cyclops fragments down in this area before. So let me know. Obviously you can't let me know. But hopefully if you guys see any any fragments down on the ground, I see them too. That could be super clutch to get that Cyclops piece. Oh, oh, what is this? I think it is. Is it? Cyclops bridge fragment. Hold on, we need our, um, our scanner here. Those little stingray things aren't gonna sting me, are they? I hope not. Woo! Yeah, he's not hurting us. Let's go, all right, so the bridge is, is ready. We need one more engine and one more, um... One more engine and then one more, uh, there's, there's hull, I think. Ooh. We might have a hull down here. Is this a hull? Tell me this is a hull, bro. Cool, now all we need is one more engine piece. And we're gonna have ourselves a Cyclops. Lots of lithium down here, which to be honest is fairly rare. I feel like we've, we've got some. But I wouldn't call it popular, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like there's another bridge fragment over there, or a hole fragment, we don't need that. Dude, where even are we? Like, in the grand scheme of things, we've got, we've got our base over there. We've got the giant floaty guys there. I'm not even sure where we are. Dude, our Seamoth is killing it. Being able to go down to 300. Still got 75 power. Yeah, we're, we're next to the thing still. I don't want to get too far away from the Aurora and end up getting lost. But yeah, we've still got 75 power. Dude, this thing just, it, it cuts through everything. Opens up new areas that we never would have been able to go to before. This is amazing. I'm trying to find some more rubies and diamonds and stuff. That's one, one area that we're kind of struggling in. We don't have much of. Sorry, bud. 
Ooh, dude, I don't like that at all. Those little sand sharks sneak up on you and it just... Man, is this ruby? Copper ore and lithium. So do we need... I'm wondering, can we take a laser cutter to these? No. I'm not sure what we need to be able to get those, but obviously those are like huge deposits of, of useful resources. So it'd be... It'd be nice to figure out how to collect those at some point. What is this? Oh, I thought that was like diamond or something sticking out of the wall, but no, it's like a glowy. It's a glowy thing. I think we need to grab our repair tool. I'm gonna repair this bad boy a little bit. Out here amongst all the sand sharks and stuff. I don't like it, but I have to do what we gotta do. What do we have down here? Ruby! Oh my gosh, dude, the sand sharks. Leave me alone, bro! Leave me alone! You don't want a piece of this. Salt. I want some more of that shale, but I don't see it anywhere. Bro, is that a gold deposit right there? Ah, oh, here's some more shale. Got a sand shark next to it though. You can get like a defense system. You can get a defense system on the um the what's it called? Bro, if we come in here, can they follow us in here? Because that would be really creepy. But you can get a defense system on the sea moth. So it kind of like defends itself automatically. So like when things roll up on you and they attack it like that, it'll hurt them. So I kind of I kind of want to try to unlock that eventually, but dude, this is this is the real business down at 229 meters. Not really sure around what's what's around that next corner. This is a little bit scary. It is your final oh, okay. Calm down. Who are you, who's, who's talking to me? Bro, these guys keep trying to eat us. And they're trying to, they're trying to take down our thing too, dude. Shoot, we're only at 20, 27 health. Let's repair this thing up. Make sure they don't get us while we're doing it. We got lots of these boys out here. What's up, fellas? Don't worry, I'm just passing through, just trying to check everything out. Unfortunately, we aren't going to be able to go much deeper. I want to, but we don't really have uh, don't really have the machine for it, unfortunately. Dude, this is just like pure darkness, man. Ruby, I'll take that. It's like, I don't know, it's it's scary, but it's also kind of peaceful at the same time, you know what I mean? Like, it's, I just feel one with the planet when we're out here like this. It's a beautiful new day, fellas! Whoa, we are really out there. Is it a new day? It looks like sunrise, but I don't think it is. I think sunrise behind us. Maybe it's about to be sunset, I'm not sure. Dude, you lose track of time when you're down here. You get down under like 200 meters or so, and it's just, like, it's, it's nighttime, dude. You can't... Look at this. So you can kind of you kind of have a little bit of light there, but we're going to get down under 200. This is pretty sick. Like I I personally like diving and stuff. I've never even been close to this deep, but when you're down here, dude, everything seems like it's night. It's there's there's no light. It's never daytime. We just found a life pod, dude. 
Have we been? There's no way we've been to Light Pod 12 before. If these mother suckers. Oh man, we've got two of them on us. I'm gonna try to outrun them. I don't think we are. Where's that Light Pod at? Light Pod 12, bro. Get me in here. Get me in here. We got anything in here? Have we been in here? We've already hit this before, never mind. Hey! Chill out, homie! Alright. Let's keep moving. There's some sort of a... Oh, is this... This must be the edge of the Aurora. I think. I was gonna say there's some sort of like a mountain here, but... I think that's the Aurora, right? Whoa. Whoa! Oh my god! Oh no! 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 What do I do? What do I Give me my Seamoth back! And we lost every. Do we get to. We get to keep our things, though, right? Our blueprints. Do we have the blueprints? We do have the blueprints and stuff. All right. So not all is lost. Well, guys, I'm not happy about it, but uh, we remade our sea moth. I mean, I'm happy we've got him back again, but I'm not happy that it uh, took resources and stuff like that. But uh, anyway, you guys can see we've got the same old sea moth here. We even have all the same upgrades. So we had two storages and a depth module and uh, I turned her black again, but I figured you guys would want to see the naming ceremony. So we're going to come over here and uh, I mean, we're going to keep it Cooper for Cooper and Coda, but uh, I think this is going to have to be Cooper too, dude. <laughs> I'm so sad, man, that we had to add a two to that, but uh, oh my goodness. I just... We had those rubies, those diamonds, everything else. I was I was feeling confident. I was feeling good. We're going to have to go back that way and uh, just play it a little bit safer next time, I guess. But anyway, I feel like that's a, uh, that's a good spot to stop for this episode. Explored the Aurora a little bit more. Got to know a Reaper Leviathan. Leviathan Reaper, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I think we actually have a new message on the radio. So we're going to see what that says in the next episode. And... Uh, I'm going to see you guys there. Peace out.